I had so much anxiety watching the bathroom scene. It was so intense. Um, it was just, you could feel the urge, the impulse, the discomfort, um, that like immediate need to, to satisfy, um, that, oof. Yeah. And then that paired with the performance of the, the woman with the pill, which was so fascinating because, you know, we see her trying to give him the pill and then she ends up taking it herself. Um, just really, really, really fascinating, strong opening. Um, yeah, I loved this concept and the performer just did such an amazing job of, um, selling, uh, this story and this character. This fellow is dealing with uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. I've never seen uh, a dance piece about that before, but, uh, you know, it was really interesting. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm always saying, I love it when, um, you know, take dance off the stage and put it into an environment. So here we're just at his home where we can see his, uh, his troubles being expressed, you know, cause that's, you know, he had trouble getting out of bed, getting past the sink, getting past a meal, you know? Uh, so it was a very interesting expression of things. And, uh, I, I hope he's okay now that he's outside and he's walking down that, walking down that bridge. He seems to have some resolve there at the end. So I hope it's worked out for him. But, um, just the dance was beautiful. The choreography was great. Love the choreography. And this, the performer, he just did such a wonderful job. It's just, you know, he just had this beautiful, this manneristic expression in his body and the way he expressed himself. It was just, it was just astounding. It was just beautiful. I really enjoyed him and enjoyed his performance. Um, and uh, the non-dancing role, uh, the lady that seems to be his, his mother, she was great too, you know, a non-speaking role with so much expression, so much history on her face, so much struggle. And you see her taking that pill, you just know there's something wrong, you know. So great job there. So this was beautifully uh, performed, beautifully danced, beautifully choreographed, beautifully edited, great use of locations, um, and uh, wonderfully directed. And I just love that shot on the bridge and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's this long shot of him walking off to the, onto this uh, bridge at the end. It was just, it was just beautiful. Um, made me think of compulsions and the constant fight, internal fight we have to not externalize them. Uh, specifically those who might suffer from some form of obsessive compulsive disorder, let's say. I really enjoyed how the use of dance was incorporated into how one deals and with and executes those compulsions. Um, the performer here also gives a really good performance in the face. Um, we really have that kind of spaced out look where we're really just kind of going through the motions and it, it just really felt aligned with the emotional state that the dancing and the movement was exuding. I love the stylized choreography in this one. It really tells the tale without a single word needed. The lead dancer is fabulous, so expressive with such a lithe, nimble body. And the crisp, repetitive OCD moves are frightening and intense, as are the facial expressions of the other performer who shows such worry and concern. The ominous string soundtrack is perfect for the frenetic moves. Captured your attention right off the bat from the second he's trying to get out of bed. You know, it just grabs your attention and he keeps it. His dance movements, the precision that he was using and the speed, like everything that he did in the bathroom, I had to like go back and rewind and it left me wondering, was that all the dancer's choreography or was that something that was also done in post to help speed it up a little bit and make it that quick? Whatever the filmmakers chose to do there was absolutely perfect because it was so damn cool. Every movement he makes seems to be in sync with the same number of steps or the rhythm. It really does go along with the beat, but it's a different way of looking at mental illness and what it can do to people and how there's even a maternal figure watching over him and it's destroying her own mental health. These are things that this film, this dance all really incorporates and it's a great way of showing it because it's definitely a new way of looking at things this is something that's 
absolutely amazing to watch. It's one of those things that you see the thought process that went into it. You can see how well every step was choreographed, how precise the shots had to be. You could tell that it was really well thought out to really capture what this man was going through. I thought the emotion and the sense of struggle in Kill the Minotaur was really intriguing. Um, I enjoyed the everyday setting and then the very dynamic, dramatic, chaotic choreography of the dance along with the way the music felt. I, I think it kept my interest even though it was just dancing on stage and I could totally see um, this character's backstory being suggested in, in the setting and the choreography and the music through the emotions and I think that was really cool.